10 full-time Spencer County, Kentucky EMTs and paramedics provide life-saving care for that county's nearly 20,000 people. Thank you for joining us. I'm Doug Profit. And I'm Kristen Goodwilly. But the pay and benefits those professionals are getting are not as good as surrounding counties. Rose McBride shows us the struggles Spencer County is facing trying to retain EMS employees. With every ambulance siren in Spencer County, comes a team of people ready to help. So we provide life-saving care to the 18,000 citizens of the county. Chris Limp manages that team. And it's a vital service for the county. The hard work these EMTs and paramedics put in isn't met with the same compensation as some of its neighboring teams. We're probably 10 to 15,000 on average below what the surrounding counties are offering and paying. Bullitt and Shelby counties have both recently increased pay for EMS employees to keep up with higher paying counties like Jefferson. But so far, Spencer County has not. Clearly, we're, we're not competitive in the marketplace. Yesterday, a vote to increase an insurance premium tax that would be used to increase EMT and paramedic salaries failed. Judge Executive John Riley says no one wants their taxes raised, but if nothing changes soon, it will keep getting harder to attract and retain talented employees. Well, do you want me to raise your tax? Well, of course not. Well, do you want me to provide you, provide you with a top-notch, well-trained, well-equipped EMS service? Uh, well, of course, yeah. Limp and his team aren't asking for or expecting raises to match other counties. They just want to begin getting closer. We can get on at least on the same playing field with those guys. But Riley says right now it just isn't possible. We've looked at it. It's not going to allow us with our current revenue to be able to, to increase those pay rates. Rose McBride, WHS 11 News.